If you're building a Webflow site in 2025 and are still using the default map element, you might be missing out. In this video, you'll learn how to build a fully interactive and CMS-powered Google Maps experience by using Dynamic Map for Webflow. First, we're going to take a look at the old way of embedding Google Maps using Webflow's default map embed and explore what might be too limited for your next project. After that, we're going to learn how to build a CMS-connected Google Maps embed like this one. On this map, you'll see multiple CMS-driven location markers and pop-ups, an interactive list right next to it, and even the option to embed filters, like a price range, category filters, or different filter options that you can use. We'll build a map like this using the Webflow app Dynamic Map, which lets you create really cool interactive and CMS-connected map experiences for your users without the use of any custom code or other embeds whatsoever. So let's start with the classic way of adding Google Maps in your Webflow. Just scroll down in the Navigator Elements panel to the Advanced Settings and drag the map embed onto your canvas. Then add your Google Maps API key and enter the address you want to display. Now hit Publish and that's it. You successfully added Webflow's default map embed. That was really, really quick. Now let's take a look at the map you just set up. It shows a single pin and let's lose us zoom in and out and allows clicking on the pin to open the location in Google Maps. But if you need more than just one basic location, like syncing multiple markers with the CMS, this method won't be enough. Webflow's built-in Google Maps embed just doesn't support CMS integration. That means we're limited to offering clients simple maps with just one static location for their contact page, not dynamic locations from the CMS. Okay, now if you do want to build a more advanced map that supports using collection list items from the CMS, I'm going to walk you through using Dynamic Map App. First, make sure your collection list includes two text fields for latitude and longitude. Then open Dynamic Map App from your Webflow's App Marketplace panel. Once you're in, click Insert Map and connect your collection list and press Create Map afterwards. After the map is created in the background, follow the steps provided by Dynamic Map App. First, you need to connect your scrollable map item list on the left side to the map's location collection list. Next, insert a code snippet into the embed inside your item list. This is creating the magic connection between Webflow CMS and the map itself. Then, connect the collection list that contains your pop-up and tooltip content. As you can see, Dynamic Map has created a rough version of the map in an unstyled, wireframe-ish look. But even at this stage, I can already link fields inside the map and list it directly to the CMS field. This includes all types of CMS connected contents, like text fields or image fields, and I can also style these elements just like any other user Webflow's designer, which shows that this map embed works seamlessly with custom Webflow elements. Let's check if it works. So let's click Publish, and we can see that the map isn't styled yet, but it is already fully functional and works as expected. Now, how do we add custom features to the map, like the category filter we saw in the example earlier? So, when you open Dynamic Map App, you'll see different panels, like the Interaction panel, where you can set different type of map interactions, um, as well as the Filter and Sorting panel, which allows you to create category filters uh, for different option fields, such as the property type in this case. To create your filter, press Save, and embed the code that you will just see. You need to embed the code once again to the custom code embed that is inside the item list and just press save. Then you'll see how the elements, so your filter chips are created in the background. But now we still need to change the map style itself to Google Maps. And to do that, open the map settings panel in Dynamic Map App and change the map style. Then you just need to enter your Google Maps API key and press save. Now publish the page again and let's see how it goes. After reloading the page, I can see that the map doesn't load properly and that's likely because your domain isn't whitelisted in the Google Maps API console. So we can see that the filters do already work and something is loading in the background, but we just see a gray overlay. So to set up the Google API key properly, open Google Maps API console, then click Add Website and copy the domain of your project inside Google Maps API console. 
then hit save and after waiting a little while you can see that the map will load properly so let's head over to our map reload the page and we can see that now the map is loaded properly and we can see that we have a fully functioning and working google maps implementation and webflow so let's head over to the actual project that I just showed you in the beginning and you can see that it looks pretty similar to what we've just created so if i open dynamic map app i can see that i do have all the settings like the three different panels the map settings the interactions and the filter and sorting panel so everything is buildable and doable with dynamic map workflow so yes i hope this video helps you to decide which way of implementing google maps on your webflow page you want to take however you decide good luck with your project and if you have any questions regarding dynamic map i'll link you all the important links and help resources below the video and if you're still confused feel free to drop us a line we're here to help so excited to see what you're going to build have a good one